in our world, mm-hmm. however we're conceiving of them, of course, and they share all the properties of one that would exist in our possible world. I don't think that there's any subtracted or additional, I guess. Oh, wait, wait, okay. I, I don't think there's anything subtracted or added by whether or not they exist or not. Wait, it, it doesn't have to... Okay, it doesn't have to add into the existence because that's what well, we use as a predicate. Wait, wait, wait. It could have been added is. into like the essence the of it. So, of okay, do you not know the distinction? If I'm like, if something is distinct from me, that means it gives me information, or it gives it gives someone information about me that I'm different from something else. So, like a unicorn being necessary gives you information, and Hold that on. Wait, we're information talking, is we're talking, it being we're, not, we're talking about the subject. So. Again, let's go back to the analogy. We have John in Denver, John in St. Louis. What changes about John based upon where he is, his location? Okay, John okay, okay. Louis, uh, you're John saying, Denver, wait, I don't know why you're going John. back, because you're just saying, like, existing. I'm saying, like, if, you, yeah, if you're fun, arguing you're necessary about... existence or contingent existence, well, why does that it matter literally gives you information as a predicate. Existing, not really. You're, again, you're just asserting that existence ex- is some kind of predicate and just saying that whether or not something is con- like contingent or necessary is some kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I don't understand it. Okay, if something exists in every possible world, and the same yeah. thing that does not exist, like another thing that's the okay. same predicate, I guess, but does not exist in every possible world is contingent, that means it has distinction with each other. So, like, they're different. The so, if they're is. different, they must have different information. And literally sure. one that builds up into the information is it being necessary. So God sure. so what is, can use his necessary existence as a predicate. It doesn't have to be just existence. So uh, you're aware specifically means. Wait, necessary wait, wait, wait. existence just, as wait, a predicate. Just to clarify, you're aware of what contingent means. Contingent means is referring to a fact. That yes, existing in some possible worlds. Or like, okay, it could, could not it could, exist. Okay, something that could, could, not, could exist. not have existed. Yes. Why is it that the possibility of an apple existing or not changes or adds to the property of, of an apple? Okay, because the apple will just, if it's necessary, will just be in every single possible world. Okay, that in apple. concept, in concept, when you conceive of that an adds apple into the in concept your mind, of it because we're talking exist. about every possible wait, world. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know why you assume the when only con- actual world, like. Wait, when you conceive of an apple that has yet to exist in your actual mm-hmm. world, because the existence of apples is a contingent fact. Oh, wait, repeat, repeat. Can, okay. The existence of an apple is a contingent fact. So you would you could conceive of an apple that doesn't yet exist, right? But then you can also okay, but it doesn't actually wait, wait, exist. Wait, 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 like, wait, 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 wait. Only on. subsists in your mind. That I don't, I, that's exist. a false analogy. But what? It, wait, wait, wait. It doesn't like, actually exist. It exists in your mind. Let's say that there's some fucking for some fucking reason there's some apple that necessarily must exist in all reality. I okay. Don't know why? It just okay. Wait, wait, wait. So you just proved my difference? point. Okay, the, the, difference the difference is because okay, the difference is one apple exists, the other doesn't. What? Okay, but that's not. But that's not. That literally that's gives not, you information about. Wait, wait, wait. It. That's not an essential. It's not an essential property of the. Yes, apple. it is. You, okay, you said we can conceive of an apple that does not actually why exist or just subsist in our mind. Why, and why, another why apple that an actually exists okay. in every Richard, possible world is it literally draws a distinction. I don't know why you're being dumb. Richard, can you answer the question? What is the property of the apple that changes of the apple, the subject being the apple? What okay, what do you think? Okay, okay, what do you think a predicate of an apple is? Just give me one. What is the predicate of an apple? Yeah. Um, fucking... Uh, what the fucking, um... How about the color of the apple? Whether or not the apple is okay, red, blue, but, green, yellow, etc. Oh, so if about, an apple is... How about, okay, if an apple is red, is apple. But that doesn't actually give you information about the apple because the apple well, could just does. be red. It gives you information. No, I mean that, green. Okay, so the apple could change Okay, so if the apple is so not the apple, red, does, does so it mean on, it's the not apple, an apple? So, it, so hold on. If the apple is initially red, but then it rots and it becomes brown, right? The additional... Pro- okay, so a, that's a not a pretty there. Why not? Because th- there could be another apple, which is green. Does that mean it's not an apple? No, it is still an apple. Wait, I didn't say that it's an... Ass- okay, I didn't say that a predicate... You say it's a predicate. Wait, 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 wait. There can be predicates of human beings, right? That don't determine that they're human beings. They're just of those people. So we can have two people... Oh, uh-huh, and I'm asking you what, different- what Wait, 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 wait. wait. From wait, they can that have different. Wait, those people, those wait, 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 people okay. can have different. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, before before you go ahead. Two different moral frameworks. Okay, okay. Before you go ahead. So, what's what's different between the predicate of a color of an apple and the necessary existence of an apple? And then I don't think a necessary existence is a central property of an apple. I think you could. Okay, I'm asking you why is it different from a color of it? Why is it different from the color of it? 
Mm-hmm. Okay, so a predicate, if a predicate is the fucking, um... Something that gives information about it. Uh, something, uh, is something that adds to the property of the apple, right? The prop, one of the properties. No, so, of something the, that just gives us information. That's that's what a predicate is. No, okay, I can get you the definition because I think you're fucking up. So hold okay. on. Okay, predicate. Let me just search it up. I'm literally searching it up for you. you can do it as well. Okay. The part of a sentence. Or, okay, no. Uh, state, affirm, or assert something about the subject or, or a sentence uh, of a sentence or an argument of proposition. So, sure. so something that it literally something entails about, information. Wait, 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 so, if we have a predicate about, that gives us information about the thing, something that states something about the apple. What you're saying is that existence states something about God, or in this case, you could say existence. Wait, wait, go, wait, wait, say it again. Wait, wait. So you're saying that predic- uh, sorry, existence is a predicate because it states something necessary about existence, being. yeah, or contingent necessary existence. existence. However, you're just stating so- existence doesn't actually state anything about the subject. Existence just refers to what yes, I am. I'm stating its necessity as a subject. Wait, wait, wait. If you want to say that necessity is a property, I, I don't. I would have to think about necessary whether or not existence is a property. Yes, existence itself, and whether or not existence okay, is okay. Are you aware that I'm actually using? Property. Okay, are you aware that I'm actually using God's necessary existence as a predicate, and not just existence? Well, I, I would. I don't. Okay, because it can that, be broken down into two existences. I don't think you've given a reason for why existence that determines some property of a subject. I don't see why it would. Okay, ne- necessary existence does wait, 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 because it exists the everywhere. Concept of an apple. You can have an immaterial and a material apple that are the same in concept and have the same properties without one existing and the other existing, right? Okay, but they would... Okay, the the information would still differ from one another, and that's what well, I'm the information, into. the information about reality as to whether or not there is an apple within reality, you can make a comment about that, but not about the apple itself. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that... Necess- property of okay. God. What I'm saying is that necessary existence can also give us information. Well, no, it gives. It doesn't. Well, I don't know why wait, you, wait, you're wait, saying wait, like there should be a. The only, wait, wait. The only like, information, information. That exists, The only thing that it, existence gives information about is existence. It doesn't actually give existence about. An, uh, it, an, wait, an, who? An entity. The only thing that existence really tells us about is existing. Right. We only know what exists. No. Okay. Exists. Necessary existence. The only thing. No. Okay. Okay. So. Let me let me just again, it down. again. You can have two apples. So, one that's you have an apple. One okay, wait. Let me just tell you the difference now between recording. a contingent. Let me tell you a difference between a contingent apple and and a necessary apple. So I there's mean, an apple, like apple a contingent apple, target. that would exist in some possible worlds, right? And the yeah. the difference, because the information that the necessary one gives us, is that it exists everywhere. So if it's in a possible world where the the contingent apple doesn't exist, the the other one, the necessary one, would actually exist. That's literally wait, information why, about the apple. And I also about, asked you, what, what's the difference between wait, the that color just, that just tells and the about, necessary existence wait, 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 of it? Telling, okay, telling us about whether or not the apple exists doesn't actually tell us about the properties of an apple. So when we're talking about the properties okay, of an apple... Remember when I you said... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, okay, because go back. Remember, I already addressed this in the analogy. Whether or not John exists in St. Louis or Denver or Colorado, his location and his lack thereof would not change the fundamental property. Bro, why of are you saying John? that analogy over and over again? Like it literally because is I not corresponding with what I, I said. Think that there's any kind of response to okay, it okay, back to your okay, back to your predicate of an apple. You said the predicate of an apple. Wait, 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 wait. I think that's okay. The, the, the wait, wait, wait. The, okay, bro, listen. So you said what the predicate of an apple could be its color. John, so what what information does a what information does a color give us more than a necessary existence of it? Okay. Like, I don't know if I would fucking die on the hill that, like, uh, about, like, some analogy about an apple's predicate being a color. I'm much more comfortable talking about the predicate of a human being, because I think that I have a much more readily uh, available example that I'm going Okay, but you, you so were wait, the one so to wait, bring so up wait, this so analogy, wait, so, wait, so just wait. go ahead, bro. So what, I, I, can I don't know why you like... Fine. I don't so, care okay, so you're not, like you're not wait, able wait, to wait, find wait, wait, wait. a predicate Richard, of it, so you're just trying to make another analogy that actually, like, correlates to what you're saying. Richard, I'm more focusing on the John analogy, so I would like to do it if you're more comfortable Okay. Okay, so, so you cannot on, allow, explain on, why apple's John. color no, is I'm a predicate and why its necessary existence is not a predicate. It's not a comfortable analogy for me. I would rather use this one. I don't give a fuck about you saying... Why not? You okay, why not? 
Okay, wait, wait, wait. So you think you, you cannot have a predicate about an apple? Like, no predicates? Wait, I didn't say that. I'm just saying that I Okay, have just go ahead with this one. I don't know why you would be more comfortable with that one okay, and not this one. because I am. I have more readily available analogies and examples to talk about with John. So hold on, if you would let me. Sure, go okay. ahead. So uh, if you talk about his height, so, gonna, so wait, wait, wait. So we can, have John and Lisa. we can have John and Lisa, and a predicate of John and Lisa would be their moral framework, for instance the property of them that makes them them and they can change their moral framework which would be an additional property and add to it, whatever so okay, john and they lisa, have a different so wait, so wait john, if, it, if so they have a different example. moral compass so would they not so be an, john anymore what no they would be john john would just have oh, okay so it's not a predicate property. about john. adding on to the okay. property of john i didn't say it wouldn't so be it's john. not a predicate about john Hmm? It's a okay. Hold okay, on. If, okay. If his moral compass is a predicate, so if you're adding on, then if he has a different one, he, John, he's not John anymore. But so you wait, say wait. he is, so that's not a predicate about I'm John. I'm saying that if you add on to his moral compass, those would be additional predicates about John. Okay, but it's not a predicate because if it differs, it's still John. Okay, it doesn't change. Is predicate is something that gives us information entity. about the thing. Because like, if God concept. is not necessary, then he's not God. That so that's why it's a predicate, and he can be used as a predicate. Okay. Okay. Listen. Listen. Okay. So I've already established a predicate about John. What I'm saying is that John can be in either Denver, St. Louis, or, or Washington, etc. Depending on, it doesn't matter what his location is. His location or where he. Why you're bringing it up? If it wait, doesn't matter. hold on. Wait, I'm saying. Wait, hold on. You would understand if you let me talk. It doesn't matter what Go his ahead. existence is because his location in reality doesn't change anything about his concept or the concept of John. His location. I don't see why existence. Yes, or his his his. Okay, but his existence does because it can determine whether wait, it's his contingent wait, his or necessary. Existence is just it is a, a property. Dog. Existence just mm. means that something is real and something is located in reality. Like, mm. Okay, is. but necessary existence and contingent. Okay, hold on. So I don't know why you take that, this into so like. Hold on. So the point is that ignoring the point, both of them. Wait. So the point is that if John does or doesn't exist, or the points in which John exists. No, 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 no. You should say wait, wait, wait. I don't know what you're assuming. Like for this. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Uh, no, you're just assuming John, a, like existence without actually I'm saying the, like the two things that like break down hey, existence, whether or not John like, exists does contingent not and necessary. The of John. That just changes the okay, I'm using necessary existence wait, as a predicate, not, not just ever, existence. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, the only thing you could say necessary to existence doesn't fucking matter if existence isn't. A yes, it does because it exists in every possible world, no, and it contingent what doesn't. Okay, That's what it changes about the, the thing. Wait, existence oh, is the core part uh, okay, of the back argument. to my question. Necessary or not doesn't matter. Okay, back so to my question to you. What's the difference between a contingent unicorn and a necessary unicorn? Ray J, Ray J, you're gonna let me finish, okay? So what I was saying was that. The properties of John, if they don't change, John can still be John, regardless of whether or not he exists or where he exists. If that doesn't alter okay, anything, or but why are you assuming that? Concept, okay, that's uh, not. It, that's it not seems like you don't want to hear so my question because you don't have an answer to it. No, I'm asking. You okay, why if you have an answer to it, then let me let me. Okay, why? let me ask I don't you a question. If it's necessary or not, I'm talking about existence. I mean, you don't care, but that's what draws a distinction between them. You can have a distinction. Okay, there's a clear distinction between a unicorn and another. Unicorn that's necessary, a uh, contingent unicorn, Wait, and another there's unicorn a that's necessary. Distinction in that they're necessary, but you're making the argument as well that existence would be a predicate, and that necessary. Okay, a distinction literally gives us information. So, if necessary, it doesn't give us it doesn't give us information about the unicorn. It just gives us information about whether or not the unicorn exists, which isn't actually talking about the subject itself. Wait, repeat what you said again. It doesn't give us information about the unicorn. It gives us information about whether or not the unicorn exists. Sure, you can make that claim, but whether or not the truth value of whether or not the universe, uh, the unicorn exists, is not the same as talking about the properties of the unicorn itself and what makes the unicorn. Okay, so you're unicorn. saying giving us. Okay, you're saying giving us. Ex uh, okay, you're saying giving us so information. it's not an essential property of something being itself. No, no, no. Wait, so okay, so you're saying something. God. Okay, proving something is necessary or contingent in existence does yeah. not matter about the thing that we're discussing like about the unicorn let's say oh, of course not because you're also talking okay so about existence. i don't think that in this context okay 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 but there's two two unicorns there's two unicorns okay there's wait, wait, wait. Two, I, I don't know wait, i don't know if you me, get this but there's two unicorns me. right hold on tell hold me, on hold up hold on let me go ahead with my question. energy wait let me okay. let me ask you the question tell me Man, what whatever, changes go ahead. about the property of a unicorn depending on whether or not it exists because you can make the argument that it tells us or gives us information of whether or not it exists or not, but the unicorn itself what makes the unicorn the unicorn doesn't seem to be determined at all by whether or not it exists. Okay, there's two unicorns. One is necessary, one is contingent. There's a clear distinction between both of them. So how... Okay, so how could... 
they now be a predicate, even though you just give us information about the like the I, existence gives us information. I don't, think, I don't think whether or not it's contingent or necessary. Okay, matters if both of them in this case I would still be arguing that yeah, you know, existence is some kind of fucking predicate. Your entire argument is that if God is possible in some world, if he possibly exists, then a maximally great being would exist in all necessary worlds. Sorry, and sorry, it would be a necessary fact that it exists, and that it would exist in our actual world, right? But if the yeah, existence of everywhere. God, wait, wait, but if, but leaving alone whether or not it's contingent or whether or not it's necessary, if existence isn't adding to the concept of some subject, right? Then it's not an essential property of God itself, and so the evidence isn't provided that the possibility of existence would mean that this maximally great being does exist, because it doesn't refer to the property of, or sorry, it isn't a property that refers to anything about what makes God God at all. So, okay, so you're saying essence does okay, wait, so you're saying the predicate doesn't give you information about something? It, the no, I'm saying predicate. that in order for it to be a predicate, it needs to be some, it, it, it needs to add on to the concept or influence the concept of the being that okay, we're talking can you give about me, itself. Can we? Can you give me the predicate of a bus? Of a bus? I don't, I don't see what the fuck this is. I already gave you the predicate of a human being, which is the best like example I can. Okay, give you yeah, yeah. Right, go ahead. So a predicate. So a predicate of. So a predicate being. of John. A predicate of John or John specifically. Not even. Uh, sorry, mind me. Not even a human being, but John personally. Is that John believes that killing people is wrong? Right. That's his. That's. Okay, what if he believes that killing people is not wrong? That means he's not John anymore. That wouldn't be a. It's not the predicate of John. He believes that it is wrong. Okay, uh, okay. Wait, so you can't have both at once. That, if that's a predicate, right? If that's a predicate, and he if he contradicts his predicate, that means he's not John anymore. Well, if he can't, if he so if that's he, not a predicate. Wait, you could just if he doesn't believe that anymore in some given point in time, then that John in the future just you no. Know, okay, that so John you're saying the predicate sure, would just it would change. Different... It could be whatever. So like, sure, he, the predicate so of a human sure, being could be that he has hair. Like what? Prop no. Okay, no, not at all. I'm talking about John as a person. Properties could shift, right? That would alter John as a person, so he's no longer the person he used to be. Sure, that's fine. But these are still properties which talk and define John as, uh, sorry, which define uh, John as a person, as a concept. I'm not seeing why existence would have anything to do with whether or not God exists or not. Okay, or, so or you know, okay, property of God. There's, there's a difference between a maximally great being and a minimally great being, right? I'm aware. It okay, matter. so I'm not talking the, about the only thing. Oh, wait, wait, so, well, the only thing it's that gives us a, a difference between it. Is not an wait, the only thing that draws a distinction though is that it's necessary and it's contingent. So that is a predicate. Yeah, but your entire point is that. Wait, hold on. So it's not. Your entire point is that the possible existence of one is what makes it necessarily true. However. That's okay. not the case if the possible existence, you're referring to the possible existence, doesn't actually... Okay, can you tell me a predicate about a human being then? Like, not I, John I already gave you a predicate example. Not John specifically, because you're saying, like, it oh, they, matter. they believe it, it really doesn't people matter. in the wrong, haha. Ha. Like, that, that's not a predicate. Like, you're, you're, like I, don't, I don't care. I don't have, like, predicates on hand. I have, like, an example with John. Okay, I I but I, I do have a predicate, and, and you're not showing me why it's not a predicate. Well, hold on. Your predicate... Is that I want you to demonstrate why that's not a predicate. That something necessarily exists, which is followed from it possibly existing. Okay, no, no, that's not... That first the, of all, yes, my predicate... Okay, first of all, my predicate is... Yeah, what, what you said. But also add on to it, because, like, that gives us information about the thing. Okay, or, like, let's say God. That, that is necessary yeah. existence, like, gives us a fucking definition about him. Like, no, information about him. So if there okay. was, like, a minimally great being, it would be different. And the only but reason that it would be different is because it's contingent us, and not necessary. Existence only tells us what is the case, or is or, uh, is or isn't the case within reality. It doesn't okay, actually Okay, but necessary existence is different. Things that it's referencing necessary itself. existence is different. What's the difference? If you want to claim that necessary... Okay, is contingent credit, existence mean, and a necessary existence is literally different, and I shoot, like, wait, seven I'm times. A, wait, Wait, the ex wait, existence isn't different. Whether or not it's necessary, contingent doesn't matter. We're referring to the existence anyway. But actually, the ground. Okay, so of your okay, argument, my wait, wait, premise, definition wait, wait, of a predicate. Premise one of your argument. Premise one of your argument is literally establishing that he's a possible existence, right? So you're uh, saying yeah, that because a maximally possible, yeah. great being, a maximally great being, is some kind of can be some kind of contingent fact, and therefore it will be a necessary. Contingent? Fact, why yeah. would it be contingent? Contingent, as in it can or cannot be true. It's possible. Possible of it's possible. possible. Okay, that doesn't mean There's it's contingent, because 
the Wait, argument that I'm using is, like, is no matter how slight the possibility is, it would be absolute. No, I'm aware, but you first have to establish in your premise that it's possibly existent. So you making this, like, the, the, the distinction okay, between possible existence I'm not existence saying possibly existence. I'm just saying it is possible for God to exist. As in, like, he exists in any possible that, that's world. That's you saying that's a possible existence. That, that's literally you just no, saying it. No, I'm, okay, I'm saying, okay, I'm saying God exists in a possible world, right? I don't, I don't see how that, that means, like, I don't see how that means, like, God is only, like, a I'm possibility saying, no. and not absolute. Okay. And then again, then you have, like, when you said he's this, gone. Uh, pretty... Fuck. He got a phone call. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna hop onto my PC in a bit, but, um, what's it called? Um, I'm gonna ask y'all to go to conclusions because y'all have been going in circles and nauseam for, like, I think, like, 15 minutes. Yeah, I'm aware. My bad. Yeah, y'all are not gonna see eye to eye on this. After that, I'll give my judgment. And then phone calls. Okay. So where were we Yo, folks, we um, about? I'm gonna ask y'all to, like, make y'all's closing statements. Oh, that's some bullshit. Okay. I'm just kidding, thank you. Because, um, like, um, y'all are not seeing eye to eye on this particular subject, and yeah, I don't probably, think y'all are gonna get past it. Okay, I don't know, it's really fucking hard to articulate against Richard anyway. Richard, are you there? Haha, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. That's unnecessary oh, yeah, okay, okay. bro. I'm gonna kill you. I, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so I guess we have to do closing statements now. Yeah, so just okay. see your conclusion. Sure, okay. Bro, y'all are so, silent, y'all are weird. So, fucking, um, your your argument first had to establish that, uh, God was a mess up, uh... There's conclusions, by the way? Yeah. Oh, my bad, my bad, just make sure. <laughs> okay. Bro, okay, someone okay. fucking speak, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm speaking! I'm speaking, Infamous. Okay, hold on. So, can you hear me, Infamous? Hello? Bro, will I just give my fucking judgment now? Wait, wait, can you not hear Forks? Wait, wait, wait. Can you, can you not hear me? Dude, Forks is speaking right now. Wait, rejoin. Rejoin Infamous. He left. Now he's back. Now he's back. Okay, so can you hear, can you hear me Forks? Now, Hello? Infamous. Yo, Infamous. We cannot hear you. We cannot hear you, bro. Infamous. 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 Is, 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 is. Did Shinju and uh, Psyche argue yet? I don't, I don't know. Bro, who cares oh, about man. that? Nigga, dead. He's actually dead. Like, he's laying on the floor, like, tongue out of mouth, just dead. This nigga is dead. Wow. Every morning I get to make soup. Imagine recording this. This is the shittiest debate. I wouldn't even fucking upload this, even if I fucking won this. Agreed. Oh my god. Right. Oh my god. Yo, infamous. Hello? Infamous! Infamous! Infamous is missing hard right now. Actually, I'm just gonna. Do you wanna just make our fucking wrap up conclusions on. Mm, but I mean, he's not here to hear it, so what's the point of it? It's a, it's on recording, Ray J. He can hear it after. Sure, 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 sure. Go okay. conclusion. Okay, 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 okay. So, I don't understand why you were trying to make, like, a distinction between, like, necessary existence and contingent existence when your argument literally had to, had to, uh, had to assert that God was a contingent and necessary existence. Uh, well, fucking, it was a possible existence, rather in order to prove it was necessary, so it seems like it was just going through both anyway, that the rejection of one would, wouldn't really make a difference. 
Um, they were both having to do with existence being a predicate anyway, so I would think that if existence wasn't a predicate, which I don't think was really justified, then you don't even have any grounds to work on anyway. Um, existence only tells us that something literally exists, but it doesn't refer to the properties of something. Uh, if something only exists, then it, then it doesn't really have any properties which add on to its concept, right? And no matter what location or lack of location an entity has, uh, in concept, the properties are all the same regardless of its existence. I don't. I just think it was presupposed that it's a uh, that it's a predicate. So I don't think that a maximally great being is actually a necessary fact, and therefore is a fact of uh, of our um, of our actual world. I don't know. I fucking got lost in the shit show at some point. So I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think you were just busy trying to get me to like tell you the predicates of random fucking items and objects rather than argue with me, so I don't really think you did a good job sensibly. Um, okay, is that you? Whatever. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> okay, so first of all, <clears throat> um, what I tried to prove was that God is uh, absolute by using the method of, like, proving that if he is possible, then he's absolute. I never said at one point, like, that he's possible and not absolute. I just, I just said if there's a possibility of him existing, then that means he absolutely exists. Uh, also, I showed you why God's existence, or more so a necessary existence, would be actual, oh, hold on, uh, an actual predicate. Richard. Hmm? Hmm? I didn't hear Forks' like, thing. I oh, yeah, it's anything. recorded. Don't worry. Uh, it's recorded? Okay, yeah. I'll go over the last yeah. bit. Yeah. make your closing statement. All right. Go ahead, make your... So, b back to where it was left. Okay, so... I proved that necessary existence was actually a predicate because it gives us a uh, distinction between a con contingent existence. And he tried to argue that it doesn't add on to the concept, even though um, a predicate is just giving like information about the entity. Uh, when I asked him to do so, he actually did not um, give us an example or like demonstrate a predicate of anything. He tried to do a predicate of like a specific person, which didn't work because that would not be a predicate. Um, so therefore, I think like I proved that God is absolute by proving that uh, He's possible, and by my modal ontological argument, and then also like debunked His like existence not being a predicate, or like necessary existence not being a predicate. 